What's up, everybody, and happy Friday. I don't know why Jay is always trying to find me, but your girl is here to stay. So, with that being said, I have to say, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champ Fat. And Fresh from the Salon, because what I'm doing here is uh jay talking about he's doing his lock journey and so now i'm going to try to do this with him and like that awkward phase i can kind of get around with that just a little bit you know by twisting it up so four more weeks i'm going to get it tightened up but while i was gone i noticed y'all been loving the uh harlots the horse excuse me had something in my throat right, so so we're gonna dial it back and we're gonna take it back old school to the rappers we got first up eve the first lady of rough riders is that correct yeah that's correct and then we got remy ma so who you gonna pick down the bottom you gonna go with eve e or we're gonna go with remy ma so hopefully that's a good comparison for you guys i can drop it below okay moving on to the next topic this is like what i like to call my just like you know fun news or whatever so apparently, guys, you can make six figures by going to work for Taco Bell. All you have to do is have a degree and become a store manager. And you can become, you know, start making those six figures. Let me tell you a story. So Taco Bell was Here like... Here we go, about the Taco Bell story. Let me tell you. So Taco Bell was my first job. And Taco Bell was your first job, too. Drop it down below. And so I was so excited, man. I was like working a bunch of hours right so i probably worked like 80 out no no it no i take that back because he was getting paid every two weeks so i had almost like a hundred hours on my check right guess how much my check was five hundred dollars I mean, with your, it, was, it was the fifties with your old ass. So I mean, five hundred dollars wasn't that bad. But see, to me, I was like, I'm eating here, but being grown, you think about it, like, man, I got robbed. I yeah. got robbed because I don't think I was even making seven dollars an hour. Not back then. Hell yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You saying back then like it's like a long time. I'm still young. But anyway, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so y'all thought I was making money now, but yeah, a hundred hours so you only get like a five hundred dollar paycheck, that's like nothing. But anyway, so hey, if y'all looking for a job, get that degree and go to Taco Bell. So they said that the young brand um on chain is gonna test the highest salary in like select restaurants in the US Midwest and northeast and they're also going to try new for employees who want leadership and experience but don't want to be in the management position but the salary is going to range from fifty thousand to eighty thousand and i can guarantee you that my store manager at that time was not making fifty thousand uh, what it looks like they say in midwest and northeast though so that's probably like new york and chicago where fifty thousand ain't even that much money so yeah, that's uh. But if they're just testing it out there, yeah, of and course then they, they move it, out it there. to yeah. You see what I'm saying? Of course yeah. they test it out there where you can't you can't live like in the south. You can you can make it. Some people can make it off that twelve dollars an hour, but it ain't no way in hell Chicago or New York you making it off of that. But you know, so they 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 they, they dressed it up. So nice. they're trying to get creative with it yeah, or whatever, yeah. basically. So we'll see how that y'all in one of those jobs, you know. Let me know. Let your boy know. No, no. Okay, going into NBA news. So, Russell Westbrook got a overwhelming, just standing ovation last night. Um, his first time back as a visitor at OKC after being traded to the Houston Rockets last year. They showed him so much love and did even a nice little montage for him. So, uh, look at prison with our fit with our NBA knowledge. Okay. <laughs> So, I don't really see know that because LJ's favorite team used to be the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's still why. Is. It still is. It still is. He says OKC is his favorite team, but uh, LeBron is his favorite player. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so shout out to uh, OKC showing Russell Westbrook love. Where every day is Russell Westbrook day. Okay. Last but not least. So I don't know if you guys heard about how, um, you know, John Belene saying that the players were playing like thugs. Well, Shaq said that y'all just saw. The players I saw, he was like, if you're getting offended about your coach saying you're playing like thugs, then you're Something just too up. soft. Let's listen and to this little excerpt. 
Go ahead, hit it. KC and talking about the way Chris Paul <clears throat> runs that pick and roll and no, not headache. this one. Not this one. Both of them. Kevin Love. Oh, he's such a slug. It's criminal. It's yes. criminal what it's, they're doing. It's up criminal. Oh, <laughs> it's I, I know. I, it's I, you know, I was thug or slug. What's a thug or slug? Slug. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jack, you know, me and Kenny in the back listen to music. We listen to Bone Slugs and Harmony. Bone Slugs and Harmony. I somehow knew. And when I brought it, oh, my God. What'd you see from Slug Life? Slug Life. Slug Life. Well, listen, me and Chuck know this person. KC and talk. Right, then, then, then it was uh, up from there. You have to be apologized to for your coach calling you thug. You ain't gonna never win. You're soft. Okay? Period. First S O F T double T like soft. So I believe him when he said you play like slugs. And third of all, stop being so sensitive. Would I grew you, up in the age. you be offended? I, listen, I grew up in the 80s. I got called worse than slug. Trust me. More than thug. Yes. More than. Trust me. Yes. If you have to be apologized hey, and that's, to for your and coach. And that's it. What you okay. think about it, though? So. I didn't play sports in school or whatever. So me being on the outside, just just hearing it, like I don't see how you can confuse thug with slug because like you can't. You, you just can't because thug had to be on your mind for it to slip out. Yeah, Normally probably he had slip ups, and he probably like, man, look at these thugs out here. And then like he didn't mean to say. Like a bunch of thugs. Yeah, he didn't mean yeah. to organize the coach. But also, I just think that. Just, you know, being real for just for just a quick minute. Okay. When you think about the terminology thug or whatever. Think about inner city underprivileged kids. Yes, and 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 ninety what, about ninety five percent of All NBA minorities. are minorities. So when you think thug, even though it's wrong, but you kinda relate those two together. Or right. whatever. So to me, that's why I'm just like. But it ain't the first time I done heard a coach say that. My coach in high school used to say that too. Y'all out here playing like a bunch of thugs. Y'all go down to the pool and play. Cause that's where that's where the little community basketball center was. Right. So so my thing is just just say, hey, we're not playing street ball. This is yeah, this this, yeah. this is not street ball or but this so, is not rec ball or something like that. Yeah, but, but you know, people gonna get offended by everything. 2018 was the year that everybody got offended by everything. Yeah, Man, but but I'm deal. just saying you Especially can't for grown men. You can't confuse thug and slug. You can't. Or whatever. Was college, Were they think, moving slow? Yeah, but if it was college, I mean, I, it, would, it would be a bigger deal to me. But with this, no, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, but hey, I was going to tell you one thing. Back in my college days, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Hiya, hiya, baby. Hey, it's man, the way it's like it's Bone. But anyway, it's your girl, Brit Easy. I'm out. And don't forget, hey, guys, I'm on what the old folks used to say, the Twitter, the Twitter, or whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> hit me up on Twitter at MRS Brie Easy. MRS Brie Easy and Instagram. Follow me, and I'll follow back, and I'm out. Get out my seat. Get out my seat. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I've been called a lot worse, just like Shaq said, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. When I was in high school, my coach was like, my coach literally told us one time, he was like, yo, I'm gonna put a big, he was like, I'm gonna get some t-shirts made. He said, go call the t-shirt designer, I'm gonna get some t-shirts made, and uh, we're gonna have the shirts made up, and we're gonna put a big pink P on them. And the P gonna stand for pussies, because that's what y'all playing like. So, like, like, I'm telling you, bro, like, like, bro, I, I don't know, man. I've been, I've been through a lot worse. And like I said, I think it would have been a bigger deal if it was college. But it was pros, man. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all know how to govern y'all sales accordingly and stuff like that. Hey, but look, though. Y'all say y'all like the NBA um, the NBA segment. So, you know, we even... And y'all like Breezy. So, we brought her into it and all that good stuff, man. Find me, Jay. Hey, we can't fire you, man. Hey, but look, though. Last but not least with the NBA, man. We're going to go through the news, man, real quick. Hey, the Cavaliers pull off an upset... And um, uh, against the Pistons, I guess it's not really upset because they got the uh, they have the same a similar score, but because of the Pistons' outlook for this year was supposed to be better. Anyway, Tristan Thompson, 35 points, 14 rebounds, three assists. Andre Drummond, 28 points, 23 rebounds, and one assist. That was a board battle down there as the Cavaliers topped the Pistons, uh, 115 to 112. The Celtics fall to the 76ers, 109 to 98. Uh, Kimba Walker, 26 points, two, two rebounds, three assists, and Josh Richardson, 29 points and three rebounds and seven assists as the 76ers beat the uh, the Celtics. And Joe, oh, we're, we're going to talk about Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is actually out indefinitely with this right here. He tore a ligament like this. This is bad, and I know that's hard to look at, man. I'm sorry I had to put it up there, but yo, 
They said he tore a ligament in that finger, so he's out indefinitely because he's going to have to have surgery. Hey, Godspeed out to that man. I hate to hear that for him, man. Hey, look, uh, the, the Trailblazers fall to the uh, fall to the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, 116 to 10, uh, 102. Damian Lillard, D. Lillard time, 20 points, four rebounds, and eight assists. Andrew Wiggins, 23 points, three rebounds, and eight assists in the win. And last but not least, the game of the night, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, pretty much route to the Rockets last night. Uh, Russell Westbrook, 34 points, two rebounds, and five assists. And uh, Denon, Denon, Danilo, I can't say what Gallinari name, man. Y'all know what his name is. Uh, Dino Gallinari, 23 points, 11 rebounds, and four assists in the win. This game was actually pretty good because this was like Chris Chris Paul's get back party where, uh, you know, I, I don't know what, what he had. Well, where's his points, man? He had 18 points, six rebounds, and five assists. And James Harden didn't have the best game, though. You know, he shot five for 17. He had 17 points. And uh, I think what we, if we calculated, he made five or five from free throw, man. So he didn't have the greatest game, but hey, it is what it is. But now on to NBA 2K news. Hey, we saw this joint right here, this excerpt. It says these guys are coming out tomorrow, man. So tomorrow being today and my team, you got your boy, JR Swish. So right, so right, so right. You got JR Swish. And then you got your boy, Daddy Granger, number eight. Hey, hey, I put the threes up there. We put the threes up there for a reason, baby. JR Swiss and Danny Granger coming to my team today, man. Y'all let me know if y'all gonna cop those. Should I start a My Team series? Should I start doing stuff like that, man? I don't know. But one thing I do know is that uh, my boy, Big Boy IQ, sent this to me, man. And unfortunately, unfortunately, um, we uh, somebody has been banned. A lot of people got banned in my team yesterday, and uh, and amongst them were HTB. Uh, I'm gonna let HTB tell y'all what's going on. It looks like, and I, I'll go deep, further in depth in a second. And yeah, there it is. This user account has been banned due to a violation of our terms of service. Please contact customer service if you feel this was done in error. Now, I didn't end up contacting them because this was definitely not done in error. I'm not gonna sit here and cry and pretend like I didn't do anything wrong because Thank I was you, definitely HTB. banned for a good reason, obviously, and the terms of service that I did break alongside a bunch of YouTubers that actually got banned today with me as well, joining me in Cell Block B. That is going to be um, for promoting empty websites. Now, promoting empty websites is actually against terms of service, so people did get banned for that i'm assuming that's why they banned the youtubers i haven't really seen anybody else get banned if people did get banned for buying mt that shouldn't be a permanent ban but i don't know if this one is going to be a permanent ban since this was promoting mt after all now again i'm not mad if two all right so that's pretty much what we got on that man like you said he it's one of those it's one one good thing about this man hdb is a stand-up guy about it. He ain't sitting here saying, I shouldn't have been banned. I didn't do anything wrong. I never did nothing wrong. I done had this MT for two weeks and all types of stuff like that, bro. He just said, look, I did the wrong thing. They popped me. I accept my fate. We all know that even since back in the day, uh, a lot of people were prom promoting Golda back in the day, right? Golda was what it was an MT site. You could pay twenty dollars and then you could get like you know twenty dollars worth of MT. You get like two two hundred thousand MT for like twenty bucks, something like that, or two million MT for like twenty bucks. Golda really was doing it. A lot of people were promoting Golda. Um, even some of the big YouTubers. Then some of the smaller YouTubers got popped for promoting Golda, and then everybody stopped promoting it. Like right out of just boom, just done. And because because. We didn't know it was against the terms of service, so people were doing it. But like in the mad community, they, they don't care if you do if you if you go to if you promote buymuckcoins.com or whatever like that. That's why when these people hit you up, like a lot of people hit me up all the time, be like, "Can you promote our MT site? Can you do this and that?" I learned my lesson back in 2K16 with Gold when everybody was getting popped for that. Uh-uh, not me, not today, not about to happen to your boy. 
Uh uh. I already know. I, I got. I can't be getting banned, man. I ain't got no money. I ain't got. No, I'm not about to start a new thing and all that. But like he said, he's gonna go forth with his no money spent team, and that's gonna be awesome for him, man. So he's gonna be. He's gonna be good to go. And uh, I don't know if it's if it's a if it's a permanent ban or if it's just temporary ban. I think it's just temporary. Hopefully it's just temporary. And he gets back on his main account and he's able to do his thing, man. But hey, Godspeed to that young man, and uh, hopefully they let him out of jail soon. Up next, man, Joe knows. Uh, tweets out, rumor has it the behind the back is getting patched. Anyone confirm or deny this? Now, a lot of people were talking about this. This is rumored to be in the uh, in the next patch or whatever. Um, and then and then even All City Live TV, he did a video on it, a pretty good video on it. Go over there and check out All City Live TV. Also, All City Live TV is going to be um, he's gonna be doing a series, a Rate My Bill series with Pacers Gaming, so he's working in conjunction with them. That video is going to debut on the Pacers Gaming channel today. Go over there and check that out. And, uh, you know, hey, hey, he even got the headbands with All City Live TV headbands. I don't know why he don't just have his logo. The ones I got just got the logo. But uh, I probably should tell him that I got those made for him and stuff like that. But damn all that. Just go over there and watch this video on that. And, um, and, and he's going to explain, you know, they're talking about nerfing the behind the back and how he believes they're going to nerf the behind the back and also make sure you go check out the Pacers gaming video like i said man all city live tv i mean he's growing at an exponential rate and uh you know he's he working with the right people you get you on with Pacers game and you doing your thing man um you know hey can't hate on that man do your thing shouty do your thing but anyway if they a lot of people are talking about this if they nerf the behind the back what's going to happen to the game like I said in the beginning of the week, they were talking about if, if this is true, we don't know if it's true or not, but um, if they do nerf the behind the back, how is that going to impact the game? I don't know how that's going to impact the game. Well, yeah, I do. A lot of y'all that thought y'all was nice, you're going to realize how ass you are. Like, that's just, that's just real spill. Uh, okay, so last year and in previous years, when the rhythm dribble was automatic and you could chain it together with with all this stuff and make it look like you were nice because you could you do five do two or three moves and then you do the do the rhythm dribble do a couple more moves do the rhythm dribble do a couple more moves you know do the rhythm dribble it made it look like you were busy and did a lot of activity so you didn't look as ass as you actually are but now you're gonna realize that you're asser than I am because uh, what, now one thing all city said he was like you know I don't know how they're gonna get rid of the behind the back how they're gonna nerf it or whatever um here's like and, and nobody knows that I don't even know if this is this whole thing is true it's pure speculation I'm just going by what I see on the internet but he's like you know maybe they're gonna limit the amount of times you can do it I think they're gonna cut half of your stamina if you use it so if you do the behind the back then they're gonna be like hey half of your stamina is gone the stamina penalty is gonna be because as it stands you can do you could do it's just like the hop step from 2k16 and then uh, and all the other moves from i mean 2k17 and stuff it we always find a way in the 2k community to be cheap as hell with the game and 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 circumvent playing with teams a lot of people say yeah you can stop that behind the back you can't stop that shit bro you can't stop it isoing none of that stuff you might have somebody that can stop it every now and then, but when they ISO you and put you on that island by yourself, you ain't stopping it, especially if it's a slashing playmaker. If it's a play shot or something that moves slow as hell, yeah, you can probably do it. Hope you don't get stunned and stuff like that. But with this, nah, you ain't stopping it, man. And then plus the hop step. So if you are riding the person when you're going in there, they hop step into you and then they go, nah, bro, you're not stopping it, man. You're not gonna stop it. So, hey, it is what it is, man. I understand why they're doing it. They're not doing it but to, to take the fun away from you guys or us. They're doing it because they don't want they don't want this to be the only move that they see in the 2K League. You can believe that. I mean, just think about it. You're gonna have the playmaking slasher, like we said. We already talked about this. You're gonna have the playmaking slasher in the 2K League. The playmaking slasher got 99 speed. There's no lockdowns in the league. How they gonna stop somebody? They have no choice but to remove the move if that's what they're gonna do in the past. But hey, it is what it is, man. We're gonna see if it's the truth. I don't know if it's true or not. We're just going by speculation. Joe knows saying something about it. Doggone, uh, you know, All City made a, made a video about it. Hey, we're gonna see, man. If they take the move out, a lot of people are gonna, hey, I'm gonna stop playing the game. You ain't gonna stop playing the game. You'll figure some other cheap shit out or whatever. Just like they figured this cheap stuff out. Like I said, Zuli was the first person that I saw really doing it. But 
if you play the game like you say, like everybody says they play the game, I don't really use behind the back anyway. I don't abuse it. If you don't abuse it, then you don't have anything to worry about. But a lot of y'all abuse it. So you got something to worry about. Anyway, man, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let me know if you are happy about this change, if it happens or not. We still don't know. Allegedly, it's going to happen, but it is what it is. But let us know down in the comments. EVE or Remy Ma? Let me not say EVE or Remy Ma. What do you say? I take the lips off, the lips off. Uh, the hips off Trina, the lips off Eve, ain't that what he said? Why is the eyes burning me in the back of my head? My hair about to catch on fire. I feel like, I feel like, uh, what his name? God damn. I mean, goddamn anybody that don't glorify his name. <laughs> anyway, man, Vampire in Brooklyn, man. Y'all know that reference. Write it down in the comment section if y'all know. And I'm out of town next time. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chair. Guys, speed. Let me know what y'all think about them nerfing them behind the back. Is it something that should happen or not? I don't know. And we out. Peace.